you say? Shut your mouth! Shut it! Shut! Just keep it shut! Oh, you know full well exactly what you didn't say. It's no good. Well, you can be surrounded by your young girls and your threesomes and your parties, and you will be miserable. You could have had it all with me. A beige condo, matching woolen sweaters, walks on the beach, a little dog we lavish too much attention on because I'm too scared of getting fat to get pregnant. Everything! Well, fuck you! And I don't care that we just met last week, all right? Just stop looking at me. Don't look at me. Say something! Oh, I wish you were dead. I really do. Mm. Ah. Oh, I love you. Oh, let me take you away from all of this. Just mm. psycho! He was going to impregnate my eggs by a surrogate! Me? Me the psycho? No, you are the craziest fucking chick I've ever met! I love you! You're thin. You're irrationally angry. Nothing you say makes any sense. You are completely have no control of your emotions. We have nothing in common. Oh, baby, we're made for each other. Prove it. On the bike. Now. Oh, sweet Jesus. Oh, baby, wait, wait, wait. You are just perfect, Crazy Cakes! You're incredible! Marry me! Be done with this! Shut up! Don't talk to me! I defended your honor! I took out the alpha male! Evolution yeah, demands that we rut like beasts! Oh, God! Spare me the misogynistic law of the jungle bullshit! Stay out of my way! You're so gonna crash! Watch where you're going! Fuck! Where did you come from? This is ridiculous! I'm calling a drug test! Is that supposed to impress me? Just think of all the angry revenge sex! I am not having sex with you! Get that through your sick head! Okay, well jack me off into a cop! Slap me around! We got options, baby! You need help! We both do! It's a recipe for disaster! That's why it's so perfect!
are. There you are. Tony! Tony, wasn't it? Here I am. You taught that bastard! Yeah, maybe. All right. Well, you earned it. Room nine. She's right up there. Go for it, man. She, she's, she's... <laughs> well, you just knock yourself out. Okay? Hey! Whew. Hope you had a good time up there at home. <laughs> listen, listen, I don't know if you feel up for it or anything, but uh, maybe you could go give Lenny a wake-up call. This is what he looks like right here, okay? Now, I think you can find him. He'll be doing some showings over Rockford Hills today. I'll give him more than a wake-up call. That's it. That's it. I love you. I love you. I love you, man. I love you. This is turning into all of a sudden. If it isn't my favorite real estate broker. Tony, buddy, are, are you in Rockford Hills yet? Almost. Good, I, I, I forgot to tell you. Avery drives a green Comet. Ah, don't worry, I'll find him. And after I scare the living shit out of this guy, I get some more, uh, bouncy, right? Oh, oh yeah, of course. But, but, uh, Tony, Tony, listen, I, I kind of told him that you were coming. So much for the element of surprise. I want him to know who's behind the pain that he's about to experience. Uh, listen, I gotta go. Don't let me down, bud. Lift. Come here a second. What did you call me? Have you seen an old guy with a green comet? Lenny Avery. Hey! Aren't you gonna show me that house I can't afford? Where are you going? I'm ready to over leverage! Lenny, pull over! Let's talk! You stay the hell away from me! I have a message from Josh Bernstein! Oh god, just leave me alone! Shit, no! Get out, Lenny! Don't make this any worse than it already is! Stay away from Josh's business, or next time I won't be so gentle. Stay away from Josh's business, or next time I won't be so gentle. Okay, okay, I got it. Is that supposed to intimidate me? Because it's working! Just calm down. Nobody needs to get shot.
can't buy your love. That's a down payment. Hey, Mike. It's Franklin, man. I'm following the architect. All right. Don't fuck it up. All right. here without a hat. Yeah, thanks a lot. Site inspection. Architect on site. Anything we need to be worried about? The only thing we're worried about is you changing the plans again. There's always scope for improvement. Always is. Those idiots drilled the new caissons on the west side. You're kidding me. The bedrock ends there. We need caissons on the east side. Ah, uh, no drama. It's a government contract. We'll be paid until completion. I ain't taking a fall for this screw up. It's a government contract. No one's taking a fall. Except the government. Study him and study him hard. I was gonna wipe my ass on him. That's the engineer's plans. Mine you treat like a religious text, remember? Yeah, that's it. They see it's in the plans. What? Got him? Of 
course I do, homie. Here. Thank you. So, all good? Sure, homie. So is this shit for real? We just gonna rob the FIB and be allowed to walk by your boys like that? Yeah, I don't fucking know. Probably not. All right, Lester, what do you got? Uh, I don't quite know yet. Give me a minute. I'm not a fucking computer. Oh. Oh. Oh, maybe I am. <laughs> Here's what I think. We have two options. The new security software goes into containment mode in case of emergency, you know, uh, earthquakes, mudslides, acts of God. So we could plant some firebombs. They go bang, the emergency call goes out. We hijack it, show up as firemen, and then we grab the containment drive. Or we could hack the system on site. We'll go in by, uh, by air. Uh, hope we don't run into too much physical resistance. Sounds relaxing. Either bombing our office ran by the vision of corrupt government psychos or defeating one of the world's most complex security systems using our worthless ass ninja skills, huh? Yeah. Any, many, money, mo. If you favor the firebomb containment drive option, you'll go in with that janitor's ID you picked up. It'll be at night when most of the workers are off. You mop the place and plant the bombs where we need them. Seriously? I got a mop? Yeah, yeah, you really do. They'll clock you on the cameras if you're play-acting. You also need a fire truck to show up in when the bombs go off, and a getaway car stashed in a quiet place near the bureau so you can torch the truck and get out. The car doesn't have to be anything special. There shouldn't be any heat. Well, what about the other way, with the uh, ninja skills? Now you choose that route, you won't be using the janitor's gear, but we had to cover all the bases. Your FIB paymasters will have to provide you with a chopper and a pilot. Now you fly way up above the building, parachute in, and gain access to the roof here. Now you'll need to be armed to the teeth, mind you, just in case the uh, shit goes down. Mopping or parachuting? Wow, you're making this choice really difficult. Now Haynes has given us the leftover money from the Polito job to pull this mission, and the crew will be paid out of that. We keep the change. So, what's it gonna be? So you do want to mop, okay? Well, you'll need a couple of gunmen. They'll go in with you as firemen. Everything goes to plan. They won't fire a single bullet, but you will be running into a burning high-rise with them, so consider that. Well, should be okay. He's got a few scores left in him. Gus Moda. He's a pro. Not much else to say. This is a protected federal building. Are you absolutely sure this is how you want to take it? And we have a winner. I'll make the arrangements and call you when we're ready. All right, shit, hit. You know, um, I'm still looking into that Union Depository gig. It's real interesting. But I don't know if we can do it without you-know-who. Uh, well, as long as he can't do it without us. OK.